What is F8E and why is it so good? Well, it looks like its predecessor, F8U2. It's so, so much better. It's basically the same jet, but on steroids. Sure, it looks same, I might not look intimidating, but it has one very nasty trick in its pocket. But let's start with basics first. It has upgraded more durable airframe, which means your wings will not snap that easily during sharper tunes. Ooh, that was square. No, God! But keep in mind, it still can happen if you go over Mach 1. The engine is upgraded and climbs very well. And it has a cool radar, which will be important in a moment. Your main armament are 20mm cannon that can do lots of damage, but their main downsides are low ammo count and they are incredibly easy to jam, so you have to fire short bursts because anything longer is a gamble at this point. Bruh, it's cheap already, I, I barely sure it. Personally, I managed to get some kills with them. For 20m cannon, we turn any enemy into ground beef. So you're not totally defensive when you run out of missiles. Among basic loadouts, you have AIM-9B, which are S. Like, really, wh why are they even an option? Come on, Gaijin. Later, we have AIM-9D, which are much more better than previous one and can get you nice kill on unexpected enemies. And our last missile is AIM-9C. Radar-guided missile that is an absolute menace and will make many MiG-20Ys cry a river. Best thing is, this missile is unique for this jet, and this missile alone makes it very interesting. Additionally, comparing to f 802 2 you have good ground pounding weaponry that will allow you to bomb bases and ground units, and there's quite a few options to choose from. First, you need to pay attention to your radar. Yeah, that, that, that green thing on your right, pay attention to it, okay? While this radar might be inconsistent, it has BVL capabilities and it's your best friend. You can lock on enemy even 30 kilometers away and track him until you get close enough to lock and fire M9C. How awesome is that? Personally, I would suggest launching at about 8 kilometers, maximum 9 if they are going straight at you. These are very fast and deadly missiles, I will guarantee you at least one kill every game. I honestly had lots of fun while stock grinding and I will risk it to say it's the most fun jet to stock grind, at least for me. Like honestly, it it was a very pleasant experience, especially that you get I'm 9C right away and you don't have to grind for it. If you did have to grind for them, that would be much more painful to play, but you just get them right away, like wow. My issue is that like any other radar guided missile, it can be easily countered by chaff or some sharp turns. That's why it's important to launch as far away as you can so they won't see it coming. But biggest problem I had is radar. While it's great at high altitudes, it's very inconsistent when you're lower, especially in mountain terrain. Working on low flight is almost impossible and when you manage to do it, there's a huge chance you're gonna lose that log very fast. Like, I'm not a specialist when it comes to radars, I'm still learning them, but I learned very fast and hard way to keep at high alts or lock enemies that are above you. I would suggest watching Tim's variety War Thunder about radars because he does an absolute god works explaining them. In summary, while this jet looks chunky and is actually quite big, it's very mobile, agile, fast and deadly. I really recommend it to anyone who's grinding it and I hope everyone had as much fun as I did with that jet because this is something you have to experience yourself. I mean it. At the ending note, I hope this video was somehow helpful and enjoyable to watch because I really liked making it and if it's well received I might stick to this type of commentary. Uh, well, thanks for watching, peace.